Hi, it's Julie, and I'm here doing a post for the scrappy tree today on using some gelatos and Derwent ink pencils for a little tag. Um, I have the tag that I'm going to do here. And we have a snow day here. Yes, it is practically the middle of April, and we have a snow day here. Um, so I have my lovely camera girl, my daughter Debbie, recording which is a lifesaver because I don't have a tripod or anything yet. Um, but anyway, we uh, made a really great long video and it wouldn't upload. So we're doing a condensed version. So anyway, I better get to it. So here's the tag we're going to make. Okay. So first off, I'm taking this, um, what did I say this was? Stamp, a Scampendus. Yes, it was a Scampendus flower. And I'm using the Versa Mark or Versa... Yeah, Versa Fine Onyx Black. Okay, and I'm using Simon Says Stamp watercolor paper. And I'm just pushing on here. Er, pushing good. Okay. All right, so there's my image. And I'm going to use, I'm just going to show you kind of part of how I colored just so we make sure we have a, a shorter video. Um, but I'm going to use two different colors of my Ink Tense pencils. I'm going to use Fuchsia and I'm going to use Mauve. And they're just a really nice um, bright ink pencil. And I'm going pretty light. I'm going pretty light. And I'm just going to do kind of part of it since I've already done a couple of flowers. And this is our multiple time trying here. So, all right. So let me do, I'll do this flower and then I'll stop for right now. Okay, so that is the fuchsia, and I'm going to take my water pen here and just get it a little more wet than it is right now. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of flick the color up, and I am going out of the petal lines because I'm going to cut it out so it doesn't matter. So I'm going out of the petal lines. Okay. I just think ink temps pencils give such good color, good pigment color. And if you color harder, you're obviously going to get more ink. If you color a little softer, you're going to get a little less ink. And they'll dry permanently, which is nice. Now this is a little, little wet yet, so we're going to set this aside for right now. And we'll work on the tag. Okay, and we already did another tag in the other video that didn't work out. Um, but I'm just going to show you... Um, what we did on the back side. So I'm going to take um, some gelatos, uh, the raspberry, which is part of the new tropical set, which I was so happy to have, and lavender, which I'm pretty sure that one I always had. Um, so, and I'm just going to kind of color, I'm just going to scribble it on, I'm not doing, you know, anything fancy here. And we're going to do more than one layer, so. I'm just kind of smearing it out with my finger right now. And let's see. Now I'm going to do the lavender. Whoops. And I just use my finger to blend it. Yeah. Okay. I've got multiple lids going everywhere here. Okay. Okay, so there's that, and then I'm going to do another bit of the raspberry here. And I'm also going to add a little bit of the water pen. So I'm going to just kind of mix it a little, and we're going to let that dry also, and we'll come back to it. And all I'm doing is basically it's going to give me a little bit of a, a better base to do. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over with this. Jill and I are going to shovel it. Okay. And here. See how after that adding that layer it blends a lot better. And again, we're not looking for perfection, we're just looking for some nice color. One, two, 
some more of the lavender. These things are fun, so if you haven't gotten gelatos, I highly recommend it. They're really fun for mixed media too. They're really fun just to color stamped images. And I don't know, they're just fun. Um, I'm gonna kind of go around, um, like on this tag here, I've got a little bit of a smoky color and we're just gonna go around with a little bit of this, it's called Squid Ink. And this is from the new Tropical Collection too. And Squid Ink is a nice little kind of brownish gray. So it's good for adding some distressed color. And again, I'm just blending with my finger. Just so it's got a little bit there. Okay, now on this tag, you'll see that there's a little bit of that manila showing through. So I'm gonna take my water brush again, and I had used the darker um, raspberry color. And I'm just going to directly apply that to my water pen. Do that again. Just kind of fill in, fill in that little crack of color. Okay, so that's better. That's more solid. Okay, so then that is basically how I created the tag that it would go on. Okay, the next thing you would do, we go back to our flower, is grab the mauve. And what's great about this stamp is you kind of see where you need to add that shading or add that darker color. And I'm just going right on it. And I'm just adding, adding that to it. Okay, so now I just colored that and then I'm gonna go back and add some water, blend it a little bit. Just blend in it a little. And then if I want to darken that purple up a little bit, I would just go direct to the pencil and then add it like that. So you can kind of paint your images in different ways. So I think that's kind of a fun way to do that. I did call that. So there we go. Thanks for stopping by.